Welcome everyone, my name is Jessica and this is Simple, Cheap and Easy DIYs. Make sure you check out my last episode after you watch this episode. I'm going to start off by taking three of these 8x10 canvases from Dollar Tree and I'm remove all of these staples from the back. I'm just using a flat head screwdriver and then a pair of pliers to remove all of the staples on all three. Once I have all the staples removed, I'm just going to remove the canvases off and I will save those for a future project since we're just going to be using the frames for this one. Once I have all the frames um, ready, I'm going to take my apple barrel paint in the color brown X oxide and I'm going to paint all three of the frames and I'm going to paint um, all the sides, inside, outside and back. Then taking my antique white, I'm just going to dry brush that on all of the frame, again on the sides, inside, front, and back. And this is what they'll look like once they're fully painted and dried. Next I'm going to take some hot glue and I'm going to glue two of the frames together in a V-shape as you can see me doing here. And then I'm, I'm going to make a triangle by gluing the third frame on. And I'm just going to glue um, all the sides together to form this triangle. Since this will be the top of the triangle, I'm going to apply a generous amount of hot glue just to make sure that it does hold together good. You can also use a wood glue or an E6000 glue if you'd like, but I didn't have any problems with the hot glue. This is what your triangle will look like once it's completed, and then we're going to move on to making the little hanging basket. I'm going to take two of these little metal pencil holders, and I'm going to paint them in the brown oxide colored paint. Once they're fully dry, this is what it will look like. Next, taking my jute twine, I'm going to make a hanger for one of them, and you can make it whatever length you would like. I'm just going to tie it straight onto the basket on both sides. And this is what it will look like once you have the little hanger for the basket completed. Next, I'm going to glue the basket onto the hanger and I'm just going to apply a generous amount of hot glue in the top of the triangle and then lay the jute twine across that and make sure that that is fully glued on. Once that's done, this is what it will look like. You will have your little hanging basket. Now taking some of this glitter boxwood that I got at Walmart, I'm just going to place some in the basket. Now you can place whatever type of floral or item that you would like in there. And then this is what it looks like once I have that all in place. And as well, this is optional, but I'm just going to take a little bit of the glitter boxwood and I'm going to glue some to the top of the little holder as well as a couple of pieces on the bottom. Now with the second little basket we made, I'm just going to take some more of the glitter boxwood and I'm just going to place that inside the basket to set along with the little plant holder. And here's today's completed project. I hope you enjoyed it. Also, make sure you check the info card above and you can see how I made these little glass candle holders that does pair perfectly with it. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope everyone enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. As always, you can leave me a comment down below. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Till next time, hope everyone has a great day.